Hey gang, welcome to your 23rd Django tutorial and now we've figured out how to log users in I want to go to the next step and show you how to log those users out of the application. Alright, so I'm on this application and I'm logged in as Peach and if this was a real application I'd be getting really peed off right now because I'd be looking around and thinking well how the hell do I log out? I can't see a log out button anywhere. So in this video, we're going to handle how to log out of the application, and it is pretty simple again. So the first thing we want to do is go to our URLs, first of all, for the accounts app, and set up a URL for this logout functionality. So down here, let's create a new URL, and inside the raw string, first of all. So what do we want this URL to be? Well, carrot to say the start, then logout, then forward slash, then dollar sign, and then that will do. Okay, so that's our URL that we want for the logout functionality. We need to specify a view function here. So views and then dot logout underscore view. And then the name of this URL will be logout. Okay, cool. So now we have this URL specified. We can go ahead and create this logout view function. So I'm going to copy that because I'm super lazy and go into my views file. Now, let me just minimize a couple of these so we have a little bit of room. And down here, define a new function called, ta-da, logout view. So, we pass the request in first of all. And then inside the login, uh, the logout view rather, we just want to log a user out. Now, typically, it's best practice to use a post request to log a user out and not a get request. So, you don't visit a URL like accounts forward slash logout you make some kind of post request by clicking a button, which will make a post request to forward slash accounts, forward slash logout, and log the user out of the application. So because that's best practice, we're gonna use a post request in here, and we need to check that the post request was made. So to do that, we know how to do that. It's if request.method is equal to uppercase post, then we're gonna do something. So we want to log the user out. Dead simple to do. Like we imported login up here, we can also import logout, which is a function as well. So we can say down here, logout, and then pass the request object inside this. Now, we don't need to pass in the current user because we're already logged in as the user. Django knows that we're logged in. So it doesn't need to know which user to log out. It's just going to log the current user out. All right. And then once we've logged the user out, what we'll do is return some kind of redirect to this page, the article listing page. So again, return and then a redirect. And the redirect is going to be to articles, which is the app name, colon, and then list, which is the URL name. Okay, sweet. So now we have this view method sorted out dead simple. The only thing we need to do now is display some kind of button on the page which when you click it is going to perform a post request to forward slash accounts forward slash logout so that this function fires detects it's a post request log the user out and redirect them to articles list so where are we going to put that button well it makes sense to have that button on every page right and on every page we have the base layout remember inside these views right here we're extending the base layout in all of them so let us open up that base layout now and add in a button. So down here in templates, we have the base layout and I'd like to add this button in the header somewhere. So after the H1, hit enter, then we'll create a nav. So inside the nav will be a UL and a series of LI tags, just one to begin with which is going to be log out. We're doing that now, but later on, we'll also add things like login or post new article. So inside this LI tag, what do we need to do? Well, we want to create a post request ultimately, right? And to do that, we probably should use maybe a form or something like that. So let's create a form and set the class equal to logout hyphen link. We'll use that to style this up later on. Uh, the action is not going to be to index.html. It's actually going to be to forward slash accounts forward slash uh, logout. But we're not going to hard code it. We're going to use our template tags and URL instead. So URL and then in single quotes, we say we want to send this action or send this push request to 
accounts colon logout. All right, so when we click submit inside this form, then it's going to make a post request to this thing right here. And ultimately then that view we created over here, the logout view, this will fire. All right. So we have this form, but inside the form, we need to do two things. Remember, whenever we make a post request, we need to add in the CSRF token. So we do that in our template tags, CSRF underscore token. So we're sending that as well. That's for security reasons. Then we're going to use a button, which is going to have a type of submit. This is pretty much the same as doing input type equals submit, same kind of thing. We don't need a name attribute, so we'll get rid of that. And inside the button, we'll say logout. Okay. So now we have this logout button inside this form. So when we click it, it's going to submit a post request to this URL forward slash accounts forward slash logout. It's going to fire this function. The function will detect it's a post request, log the current user out, then redirect us to this page. Make sense? So if I go to, first of all, admin, then I should see that I'm logged in as Peach. You are authenticated as Peach. I can't access the admin area, but that's who I'm logged in as. Now, if I go back, I'm going to just refresh this page. Now I see a logout button right here. So if I click on this now, it's going to log me out. It's redirected me to this page again. But this time, if I go to forward slash admin, then hopefully I'm not logged in as Peach anymore. We've logged that user out. Cool. So let me try logging in as Sean. And then just going to articles again. We'll click on a different article. Log out now. Going to redirect me to the articles page. And hopefully if I try to access the admin section, it's not going to let me because I'm no longer logged in. Yeah, there we go. I have to log in again if I want to access that. So it's logged me out. So there we go, guys. That's how simple it is as well to log a user out of your application in Django.